there was a deep embarrassment that came with being associated with the church, especially because I spend the majority of my time outside of the church. And then I recognize there's a deep story that resonated with me, which is like just the story of Hosea, who God told um, in the Old Testament to marry a prostitute. She was unfaithful time and time again, and he was committed to her, uh, no matter how broken, battered, and rebellious. And I think that becomes a type of how we see Jesus embodying, like Jesus came, died, rose again for the church, instituted the church. He, the church is his bride, it's the love of his life, that's our community. And so I decided that if Jesus was strong enough to be committed to the church warts and all, then I should do the same. And then there is something about the church, like every single system and institution has its abuses. But I am so done with judging our institutions by their worst moments and judging them by what they intend to be and what they are at their best. And so the church at its best is resurrection. It's light in the darkness. It's life where there's death. It is a place of healing, a place of restoration, a place of peace, a place of comfort, a place where widows and orphans and the oppressed can find rest and hope and life. Sure, the church at its worst is like every single institution, but those people aren't embodying the reality of Jesus. And so those things to me, as I recognize, when I say I'm for the church, I am for the church as an institution, and that means I'm also for the church and reforming the church and casting a vision where all of us can become what Jesus died and rose again for the church to be. The church is a formidable weapon. Again, should be the most formidable weapon up against the darkness of our current time, where you can have an entire institution based on the sacrificial love of Jesus rather than these institutions around like what does First John say, the lust of the eyes, the lust of the flesh, the pride of life? That's what leaves every political system, every philosophical system, every corporation. That's what leads them to destroy and abuse people, is individuals who embody the lust of the eyes, the lust of the flesh, the pride of life. But the church is a family, because that's what it is, is a new covenant community. If we embody the kingdom ethic of Jesus, we become that light on a hill that shines with an eternal flame. And just, yeah, that I haven't got emotional on this, but that is the kind of stuff that our society and culture needs.